A new extended stay-at-home order now requires Ohio store owners to limit how many customers they allow in at any given time. Genesis Nero shows us what this will look like the next time you go to the grocery store. Before you even walk inside a grocery store, you'll see a number posted outside showing the store's limit of how many people they'll allow inside. This comes after a new order from Governor Mike DeWine enforcing stricter rules on social distancing. So starting today, uh, we are limiting our uh, traffic to about half of the folks that we would normally have in the store. Along with limiting traffic, shoppers inside Kroger will also come across. At our cash registers, Starbucks, and our little clinic and uh, pharmacy areas, we've installed some plexiglass partitions just to, again, create that little extra distance between the customers and the associates. Uh, we've also installed a number of um, floor signage, so get, make it really easy for you to know where you can stand. For the most part, it's a similar picture for many stores across the tri-state. We're trying to stay ahead of those uh, guidelines as best we can. Tom Moore, store director for the Remke Market in Hyde Park Plaza, says their new limit is 260 people inside the store. Moore says along with social distancing, they'll be wiping down each cart customers touch, as well as touch points throughout the store. Six foot barriers, re remembering to respect other customers and uh, employees who are putting themselves out there uh, to keep a safe distance. Shoppers we spoke with today say they appreciate the precautions. I think they're uh appropriate response to uh, keeping things as close to normal, but also providing those measures. I think that's a good idea to keep people not from all congregating in the same place. I think that it could have been implemented a little sooner, but it's hard to have any problem with Ohio's response to this. Limiting customers inside is just part of the way to help flatten the curve while operating as an essential business. Governor DeWine's newest stay-at-home order will remain in effect until May 1st. I'm Genesis Neros, Local 12 News.